Some time back, my friends, I reviewed this product here. This is from DoD Outdoors, and this is their Soto sleeping mat. This is a four inch thick mattress, like a memory foam mattress. It is exceptionally comfortable, and at the same time, it's cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It is a fantastic product, especially for truck camping. You could put this in the bed of your truck and the cold air doesn't seep up through the mattress itself. In my review, I stated that this was one of the most comfortable products I've ever used, ever tested, as far as sleeping pads go. But there was an issue with this product, price. Retail price is around $300 for this. And folks, that's a ton of money. At $300, this product is priced out of most people's reality. But what if I told you that you can get something very similar for less than $80? How about that? Somewhat recently, I began testing out a wood stove from a company called SkyMac. It was an interesting product, a product that I actually liked quite a bit. Even though it wasn't perfect, check out my review. Anyways, after reviewing that stove, I discovered they have an air mattress. A sleeping pad that is exceptionally close to the DOD outdoors pad. Again, everyone, the DOD outdoors pad retails for $300. I believe it's on sale for $230 right now. This is $75. While there are some differences between these two pads, for the most part, they are identical. In this episode, I am giving you all my summertime review of the SkyMac Air mattress. <laughs> Before we compare the SkyMac to the DoD pad, let's take a look at the SkyMac and what you get with this purchase if you decide to purchase this. So this is the storage bag. You do have a grab handle. You have a roll top up at the top. And down at the bottom, you may have seen this <laughs> dangling there. This is an inflation valve that connects to the pad itself. That way you can use this entire bag to inflate the pad. Here is the air mattress itself. It comes with a compression strap. Once you have the pad unrolled, now you can open up the valve. And there's two ways that you could do this. You can open up the first level. This does allow air to go inside the mattress, but it's slow. Or you can open it up like this, and this is a lot more efficient. While the pad is inflating to roughly 70% of its total thickness, and that will take place just by simple expansion of the memory foam inside. Let's go over some stats. So first off, this is the single person version. There is a larger version that's good for two people. I actually have both of these, and I'll talk about the larger size here in just a minute. This is available in one color combination. You have a greenish sort of color on top, and you have a black grayish color on the bottom. When it comes to the stored dimensions, you're looking at 29 and a half inches by 10 by 10. When the pad is fully in inflated, it is 79 inches long, 28 inches wide, and 4 inches thick. The weight of this mattress is 7 pounds. And when it comes to the materials, I have no idea. The company does not state this information. I suspect that it's some form of polyester with a polyurethane memory foam on the inside. The storage bag is certainly polyester. Unfortunately, the company does not state the R value for this pad, so that's information that I do not have as well. And again, everyone, as far as the price goes, $75 on Amazon at the time of filming. If you use one of those like integrated coupons like right on the listing itself take $15 off that's an incredible deal for what this is anyways I'm getting ahead of myself now let's compare this mattress to the DOD one I'll set it up right next to it With the two pads side by side, you can see that there are some differences here, namely in terms of size. The DoD Outdoors pad is a little bit longer and a little bit wider than the SkyMac. Whereas the SkyMac is 79 inches by 28 and it's 4 inches thick, the DoD Outdoors pad is 82 inches long, 31 inches wide, and again, 4 inches thick. The weight of the SkyMac, 7 pounds. The weight of the DoD, 10 pounds. When it comes to the stored dimensions, the DoD pad is quite a bit bigger. It is 36 inches by 9 by 9, whereas the SkyMac is 29 and a half by 10 by 10. We've already spoken about the price differences between these two mattresses. With the DoD Outdoors pad, it does come with some extras. It comes with a pillow as well, along with a fitted sheet that goes over the mattress and a sheet for the pillow. So you are getting some extras for that $300 price tag. Also, the DoD pad is available in three 
use sizes, small, medium, and large. Where the SkyMac is available in a one person and a two person, and that's it. With the DoD pad, it has an R value of 8.3, which is very, very high. Again, with the SkyMac, the company does not state this information. I suspect though that it's very similar. Based upon the weights of these products, I think that the DoD pad is going to be slightly warmer. While the pad is slightly bigger, the weight of the DoD pad is quite a bit more. I'm assuming that the company used a thicker variation of the memory foam than what SkyMac used. This is something that I will have to test out, namely when it gets colder. Luckily everyone, cold weather is on the way and I cannot wait. Today it's rather warm, it's about 83 right now which is warm for this part of the world. When it comes to the storage bag and the inflation valve that connects to the mattress, that is something that I haven't had to use. The simple fact is, once you open up the mattress, the valve there, it inflates to roughly 70 or 80%. And from there, a couple of breaths into it and the pad is fully inflated. It's nice that they include that, but luckily you're not likely to need it. When it comes to my experiences with the SkyMac pad, I have used this in temperatures ranging from 70 degrees all the way down to 50 degrees. So again, this is more of a summertime review. As it gets colder and I continue to use this product, I will update you all. After using this product for over a dozen nights, I'm ready to share with you all the pros and cons that I have concerning it. So let's start with the pros first. So first off, this mattress is supremely comfortable. And I can tell you all, it's just as comfortable as the DoD mattress. You can sleep on this any position that you want to. Side sleepers, you'll be good. The quality of this mattress so far has been excellent. When it comes to the construction of this, there's no issues. The seams look great, everything looks great. While using this inside of my truck, I can tell you all that it does a great job of preventing cold air from coming through it. Now again, that's only down to roughly 50 degrees and I have more testing to do, but so far it's looking really, really good as far as wintertime performance goes. Next, we have to talk about the versatility of a product like this. You can use this in the back of your truck, in the back of your SUV. You can use it in your cabin. You can take it to the campground, put it inside of your large tent. You can use this product any way that you want to. You can use it for traveling and take it with you when you're going out of town, staying at a friend's house, like Susie and I have done at my son's apartment. My son, who's in college, he recently got an apartment. We go down, we stay with him for a few nights every couple months. When we do this, we take the double version of the SkyMac, and it works amazingly well. Both of us can sleep on that. We're super comfortable and the price of that is like 150 140 something like that that's very very impressive considering just how much the dod outdoors pad costs and size wise it's very comparable to the sky mac but yet the price difference between the two is substantial when laying on top of this mattress it is very comfortable as far as the materials go sometimes i'm wearing a shirt if it's really hot i'm not but yet the material itself is very comfortable. At no point in time does it feel cold or wet or anything like that, like some air mattresses and sleeping pads do. Next, I have to say that I like the color combination that the company has gone with here. You have like a green on top, gray on the side, and like a dark grayish black on the bottom. It's a good looking mattress. And of course, the last pro that I have for this is price. When you compare this mattress to other mattresses that are out on the market, including the DoD, the price on this is absolutely amazing. I have to wonder, like what is the price margin on this? Like how much is SkyMac making? I would love to know. At the same time, I would love to know how much DoD Outdoors is making because SkyMac is making a whole lot less, but yet the product is very similar. Now let's talk about the cons that I have for this mattress. I do not have many. Let's talk about rolling up this mattress it does take some work it does take some muscle to do so especially if you want to roll it up really tight what i like to do is just grab the sides and rotate while i'm taking my knees and putting pressure on the mattress itself pushing the air out it does take a little bit of time it is slightly difficult but luckily it's not something that's impossible to do and that my friends brings us to the end of my review for the sky mac air mattress ultimately this is a major go i really do like this product the truth is, I fell in love with the DoD Outdoors mattress. It is fantastic, with the exception of the price. The price was just so high for this product. Now we have the SkyMac. It is almost the same, almost. It is a little bit smaller as far as length and width goes, but it's so much less expensive, and that does mean a lot, especially today where you have rampant inflation, poorly performing job market, the cost of living is just so high. The prices of these products really does make a difference. When you have a product that's almost identical to another, but costs substantially less, in my opinion, it's a no-brainer. I would like to hear from you all. Comment down below and share your thoughts. What do you all think about both of these mattresses? Which one would you personally purchase? The $300 DoD or the $75 SkyMac? Before you go, hit the thumbs up. It does help the channel. In other words, like this video. It really does help. If you want to, you can support the channel on YouTube, on Patreon, 
Patreon. The channel is agenda free. I'm not here to sell products. I'm here to share information and that's it. This channel is fully supported by lone wolves just like yourself and I do appreciate it. Unlike other channels, my thoughts and opinions cannot be purchased. I work for you all and that's that. By the way, make sure to check out my second YouTube channel. It's called A Quiet Place Adventures. You will find weekly adventures on there that are unlike those that I post here on this channel. AQP is absolutely exploding right now and I really do appreciate it. Thanks everybody. Take care, be well, strength and honor. Oh, 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 oh,